Hey there. Today we have a Grote Telecaster. I was unaware until earlier this year that there was a $100 price point for Telecaster copies. Uh, you've got Grote, Clary, GTL, among others, and I was tempted. I ordered one to see what it was like. At the time, it was the cheapest electric guitar you could get on Amazon. Uh, there's a video about that here, by the way. Um, so, after getting it, you know, I played it. It wasn't terrible. I mean, it's a playable guitar. There are things you would probably want, um, you know, if you were actually a professional player of some sort, I guess. But for a beginning guitar player, I thought, what would be the five upgrades I would want to do if this was my guitar? So, here are the top four, five, five upgrades that I would do to an inexpensive Telecaster like this from Amazon or wherever. The first inexpensive Telecaster upgrade I recommend are compensated saddles. They make it much easier to intonate the guitar because of the inefficiencies in the straight barrel type uh, saddles that were originally placed on Telecasters. In this instance, I've chosen the Wilkinson ones because they're low cost, but there are other manufacturers who make much higher quality ones and even some that are made from titanium, which allow for greater sustain due to their very light weight. The installation is very simple. You unscrew the old ones, put the new ones on, and screw them on. But you will have to reset up the guitar, including string height and intonation. But it will be easier to intonate with the compensated saddles. The second inexpensive Telecaster upgrade I would recommend are upgraded or locking tuning pegs. The Music Lily ones provide pretty good value for the cost. Uh, they fit perfectly on the guitar, so I chose those. It's a really easy install. You just simply uninstall the old ones by removing the nuts and washers from one side and the screws from the back. Put the new tuning pegs in. Uh, put the screws in, but don't tighten them down. Same for the nuts and washers. Make sure everything's lined up well and then tighten it all down. Our number three upgrade is a little more technically challenging, but it gives a huge bang for your buck. A four-way switch. These guitars come with a three-way switch, and when you use the middle position, it puts the pickups in parallel relative to each other. But a humbucker is actually in series, so if you wire the four-way switch to give your pickups a series connection, you'll get a more humbucker-like sound. It's heavier and thicker and darker. This fourth position greatly increases the output of the guitar. There are some modifications that are necessary. You have to snip the ground lead to the cover on the neck pickup and solder on a new ground wire to the pickup cover ground lug. This is quite an in-depth operation and if you're uncomfortable with this level of soldering you should probably take the guitar to a tech or to a luthier to have this done. But diagrams can be found online and it isn't terribly hard to do. Our fourth upgrade, inexpensive pickups. I've chosen Wilkinson's because the guitar is inexpensive, or you could also choose other brands. Uh, Fender actually makes great pickups under $100. That would be good in any mid-quality guitar, such as a Squire. Or Tone Rider also makes pickups, which are rumored to be the same as the Squire Classic Vibe pickups. As you can see, the pickup install isn't terribly hard. I take the screws out, remove the old pickup, put the new screws in and then put the pick guard and the uh, bridge back on and solder them back to where they were attached before. And if you're not comfortable with this level of soldering, a guitar tech or luthier really shouldn't charge too much to install pickups on a Telecaster type guitar, so take it to them. And now for our fifth upgrade. A good set of strap locks and a good quality strap. The Fender Shaler style strap locks are fairly inexpensive, under 10 bucks on Amazon, and a good strap can be had as low as 5 or $6. Installation is fairly simple. You just push the strap lock through, put the washer on and the nut, and tighten it up. And for the other end, as far as that goes, you have to remove the old end pins, which takes a screwdriver and install the new end pins, making sure to use a screw that is at least as big, if not larger, when you reinstall. 
And there you go. Five inexpensive Telecaster mods that really make a difference in the all-around playability of the guitar. So, I'm very pleased with the results. I think you would be too if you attempted most of these mods. Check me again next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.